Hey guys, and welcome to the Game Geeks. In this video, we're going to be showing the indie game Spotlight on Redirection. Redirection is an indie game that was created by Dan200. Dan is a Minecraft mod developer who has worked on Computercraft and Qcraft, two mods that help uh, teaching children things and uh, also are just regular awesome. So just click to begin and this is the main menu. Uh, first off we're going to look in the options. We can turn off full screen, FX and music. These are the credits, Dan Real Ratcliffe and Kevin McLeod made the music. So there is a, you can just play the game and you can also create your own levels. Uh, there are campaign levels and, all, and mirror levels and my own levels which are the ones that you make in the create menu. Um, so this is it. So Redirection is a puzzle game. Uh, if you liked Portal or Edge, then you'll really love this game. Uh, it's similar to Edge and Portal because they're both puzzle games, but uh, Edge is kind of blocky and Portal's more puzzle. Anyways, um, you can fast forward time and pause time and rewind. Um, the blue blocks always turn clockwise and as you can see, I've played this before. Um, so now they're gonna go into each other like that. Um, it actually gets extremely difficult after a while, um, but these are the early levels, so it's okay now. Um, I don't remember. Here we go. And put that one there. Speed up. Okay. Level five. Now these red ones, these are the opposite of the blue ones. If they can, they turn counterclockwise. If they can't, they turn clockwise. So the blue ones turn clockwise, but if they can't, they turn counterclockwise. And if they can't do either, they just turn around. This one's interesting because you have you have to kind of like build on each of them, and then get all of those in there. This one is actually one of my favorites. Um, so as you can see, I've moved ahead, and uh, I actually did this one multiple times before I actually uh, completed it successfully. Um, this one's also rather frustrating because uh, it took me a while to figure it out. Um, as you can see, I have multiple attempts here, and I just sped them up. have that there we go so some more info about the game currently redirections on steam greenlight and you can help get redirection onto steam by voting uh, the link will be in the description and also more on that later um, it was coded in C sharp with open TK there's a level makers you saw earlier and there are 120 levels that are currently uh, inside the game uh, so it should yeah and first of all uh, there is a public kind of like very early alpha that you can see uh, with almost the same levels of that was dubbed block game and uh, I thought this was an interesting shot between what it was now and then uh, this is another one of my favorite levels. It's kind of mind-boggling, uh, but actually rather simple. Um, I think I did it once, and then I had one other second try that I did correctly. It's a really awesome game. I'm looking forward to this being on uh, Steam. I'm uh, pretty sure I'm going to buy this um, to support not only... Uh, the author, but um, just because I like the game. And the last block is going here. And we should speed time up. Okay. This is another one of those with uh, different planes uh, that the blocks can go on. So, oop. Oh no, I did that right. And so you have to get that block over to the other red X. And then we have to work on the blue blocks. So now these ones, we're going to have to get one over to there. If you can see, there's going to be a path that's going uh, from all the way around. That's across all the blocks like this. And there we go.
Okay, so enough of that. There's also uh, speed running. So once you complete 10 levels, then you can take that group of 10 and speed run through them. And this is my speed speed run. I, uh... Yeah, there we go. 4x. It's pretty cool, but doing these as fast as I can, it took me uh, a minute and 30. But the thing about these speedruns is that if you make a mistake, you have to complete the whole thing over again. So you can't get anything wrong. You have to make sure you do it right, and you have to do it right the first time. Okay, almost done. There we go. Okay, so campaign levels, mirror levels. Mirror levels are the same as campaign levels, but they're exactly the opposite. So the chorus is flipped and also the colors are flipped. So blue for red and red for blue, and then the, uh, the map is just mirrored, as the name implies. And speed this up because I screwed it up. And try again. There we go. Oh no! Okay, anyways. So now we're going to create a level real quick here. Um, so it's real simple. Uh, we'll pull up the uh, controls here. There we go. So up or down to change the grid height. Left or right, or the mouse wheel. So left and right uh, arrow keys to change the tile type. You can also... I uh, use I don't even remember what it said what else it said there but um, so there are also portals I didn't get far enough there are portals that the blocks can go through um, and then there are some uh, slider things that that make it so that you can only go one way um, the forward triangles uh, say which way that the block starts off going and where a block can start off and I'm trying to figure out the controls here, and I can't quite figure them out because the scroll wheel is really insensitive right now. Uh, press J H. There we go. Okay, you're right. Left and right click to place a tile. Plus or minus to change the height of the. I don't remember it. Plus or height. Anyways, we're gonna create a level real fast here at 5x speed. Um, real simple. I'm not any good at this, and I didn't take a whole bunch of time to do it. Um, here we go. Get uh, get some. Yeah, there we go. So now we can't fall off. And put two portals here. I was just experimenting with portals because I haven't ever used them yet. Uh, there we go. And so real simple. It solved itself. You didn't have to do anything in that one. And then I thought, okay, let's make something that is actually somewhat challenging. Yeah, you have to put a block down. Anyways, oh right, plus or minus was to change how many blocks that you can put down. And there we go, some portals, slow us down, test it, and you just go forward. So if you put a block on a portal, it'll go through the portal and stay there, and there you go. I really love the lighting effects that the blocks give off when they're active. And there, we screwed it up because we had two blocks and it couldn't go through any portals anymore. Okay, so if you like what you see, there's a few things you can do to help get redirection publicly available. First, you can go on Steam Greenlight and vote yes. It's really simple, all you have to do is go to the green light, search redirection, Search it, click it, and then vote yes. Optionally, you can leave a comment to tell Dan what you think of the game. When it does get on Steam, there will be a charge, but he needs to make a living. So, uh, if you don't want, if you can't find it through Steam on Greenlight, you can go to the Greenlight page uh, by the link that I have in the description through your browser. Um, and if you want any more info on the game, all you have to do is go to computercraft.info slash redirection. And it's a really awesome site, has a short description, 
and a uh, about the author of Daniel and a whole bunch of links. You can join the mailing list to get updates on the game. And if you want to just find blog articles on ComputerCraft, then just go to ComputerCraft.info if it will load. There you go. And uh, he also posts all of his redirection updates to this uh, blog. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, like it. And tell us what you thought either way. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.